So Shirley Slowberry, a.k.a. Dumberry, finally filed for divorce from her liquid Viagra lifetime criminal husband. I am telling you, ladies, if y'all have not learned from Shirley Slowberry, I don't know what else is going to help y'all, who else is going to help y'all, because... Ernestia, Nasty Esto is exactly what I try to warn you women about. Stop allowing these men to fool you, to talk you into doing stuff. This man is a lifetime criminal. A lifetime criminal. And Shirley's going to say in one of her videos, I thought you were done with all of that. He can't be done with it, Shirley Dunbarry. That is who he is. He's a criminal. Stop trying to convert criminals into good men. They are not. They're evil. They're criminals. That is who they are. You cannot help them. And so she finally went down to the court and filed the paperwork. And I'm like, girl, what took you so long? You, you, you wanted a little bit more of that liquid Viagra. Lord have mercy all this Thursday, y'all. This has been a long week, okay? But I absolutely love you. I adore you. Be sure to check out my other videos. Welcome and shout out to all of our new cousins. I love you. I adore you. Thank you so much for your love. Oh my God, am I doing two videos in a row? Two days in a row? Am I back? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Be sure to check out those other video I did, girl. I don't know who them, them that America, but I don't know. But I had a lot of people to email me about Kelsey and Darren. I don't know who they are. But, uh, you know, that's what I say. Stop getting married so young. Live your life. Enjoy your life. Figure out your life and who you want. So uh, thank you for that. Don't be a slow uh, uh, a Shirley Dunbarry. At 60 years old, this woman married a lifetime criminal. Anyway. So she went ahead. I'm going to come back and do some more. I just have to do a quick video this morning. So she went ahead and finally filed for the divorce from the, uh, uh, from her criminal, uh, her criminal lifetime criminal husband. And according to Lipstick Alley, allegedly she was trying to file for divorce before her husband, Nesta, is set to be allegedly indicted. Y'all, let me tell you, I was looking at the crimes. Shout out to Chronicles Speaks. I think she uh, had the charges of a couple other people, but I like Chronicles. I listened to her. To her, and um, I mean, it. It. This man is a lifetime criminal, and it says here, Shirley Strawberry and Foster divorce right before her husband Nestor is said to be indicted. This doesn't come as much of a shock as many people thought it would have happened sooner. Nesto has some serious charges that have been brought on him and surely stuck to his side until she couldn't do it anymore. Uh, this is a card to lipstick. I think this is what Chronicle speaks, but this is why uh black woman, first of all, y'all got to stop choosing bums and criminals. Uh, ladies, I want you to realize that Shirley was 60 years old when she married this lifetime criminal. 60. And we knew she knew he was a criminal because she said to him, I thought you was done with all this. This is a black woman trying to convince a lifetime criminal to be a criminal, to stop being a criminal. But what got me, girl, what got me is, oh, they've been, they've been separated since March 2022. Shirley, didn't you write to the judge and tell the judge your husband could come home to be with you? Last year, July. 2023, Shirley. Huh? Do I need to replay the videos? I haven't done a Shirley video, phone call video in a while. I've just been busy. Huh? Weren't you on the phone telling her, him, you wasn't talking about divorce? But you claim y'all been in, in a bona fide state of, of separation, though in Atlanta, that means they have done the do since May, March of 2022. That's what that means. I guess not. He was in the parking lot, allegedly with a poor 19-year-old girl on his birthday versus being home with his wife.
And so she wanted to go ahead and file the uh, divorce papers before he's indicted. But you know why, Shirley? I don't feel sorry for you, and I don't feel sorry for dumb, dumb black women who keep marrying these criminals. You have want, you have got to want better for your life. You have got to stop trying to change these men, convince them to be different than who they are. This is who they are. So here's a screenshot that I got from Chronicle Speaks. And some of the cousins sent me some other screenshots. So shout out to Chronicles. I was gonna go over there and give her little offering. Um, Facebook. Let's read some of these indictments, child. Violation of the Georgia Rico. Uh, this is uh, 12-01-2009. Huh. False swearing, filing false documents, bigamy. He was already married to like 55 other women when he married Shirley. And Shirley's so desperate for a man, she didn't go ask about him. She didn't care, nothing. She just she just wanted the liquid Viagra. <laughs> uh, theft by taking, theft by taking, conspiracy to commit unauthorized practice, fi filing false document, identity fraud, identity fraud. This is a lifetime criminal. Felony, 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 serious felony. This man's been committing crimes his whole life. Identity theft by fraud. Knowingly alter, conceal, cover up, create. Conspiracy to commit unauthorized practices. Identity fraud. Forgery in the first degree. Impersonating another in the acknowledgement, blah, blah, blah. Forgery in the first degree. Identity theft. And, and aggregated identity theft. This man is a lifetime criminal. And all Shirley had to do was a Google search. But you know what? I don't think she cared because she said to him, I thought you was done with all this. Now, let me tell you, because there's this other guy y'all been sending me. Uh, this is why, and y'all have a problem with us not supporting black businesses. Huh? And look at the poor, innocent black people that went to support this business. And what were they doing? What was Ernestio and Shirley benefited from him stealing people, stealing people's identity? So she could get a G wagon with a, a, a 200 credit score. And y'all wonder why people don't support black businesses. Because of stuff like this, that, that other man in Atlanta that stole all them people money. Y'all so let me tell you, if I can't Google you and I can find years and years and years and years and years of service by you, I'm not using you. I don't care if you're black, white, purple, or pink. And yes, my husband and I, we are big on supporting small businesses and supporting our own people. But if I can't find records and records of you being a good person, you're not a thief or something, I'm not, I'm not giving you my money. And I hope... Ladies, that you are learning from Shirley Slobear that Shirley was 60 when she married this lifetime criminal, not 20. And if she was 20, I would be over here like, girl, well, you know, the girl was young. She didn't know no better and stuff like that. But at 60, Shirley, you're supposed to be teaching me. Because the Bible says, let, the, let the, the, the older woman teach the younger woman. And a generation is 20 years. Shirley is old enough to be my mama. Shirley is older than my mama. But here Shirley go, marrying a lifetime criminal. Not somebody who just committed one little baby crime. Uh-uh. This man was a criminal his whole life. But Shirley didn't care. She saw the dollar signs with no W-2s, with no taxes, none of that. And you know what my daddy says? God will allow you to take a test over and over and over and over and over until you pass it. Shirley making how much money a year, but she still wanted more. So she go chose a lifetime criminal that can steal from those poor people who have it and bring it home to her. I am 
so disgusted and grossed out by this. Y'all just don't understand. But at the same time, this is all for us to learn by. These lifetime criminal men, ladies, please leave them alone. They are who they are. You can't change them. If Jesus can't change him, what makes you think you can change him? I'm trying to figure out. All right, y'all, I have to go. I love you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm going to come back and, and uh, read some more of the divorce filing and stuff like that. But I'm I'm just like, girl, and, and it took her so long to file the paperwork, even though this was, she said last September she's going to file. Something was filed last last year, but she really didn't go through it, child. She she was still holding on to the liquid Viagra and the lifetime criminal. Surely need to be delivered. I'm telling you. And, but you know what? A lot of you women are like Shirley, just dumb and desperate, want to keep up with the Joneses. You ain't got nowhere to live, no savings, no investments, no retirement. Still crying for student loan relief because you was trying to keep up with the Joneses. No, no, no. Live way, 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 way below your means. I have to go. I absolutely love you. Doing Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.